Hello there. Go over a couple things I've tried to figure out here with loadouts. I know everybody's kind of getting new and used to it here. We kind of got the whole idea behind the uh, quick bars and setting our abilities up and, and our specializations. But switching gear between tunes still seems somewhat kind of annoying, especially for those of us who play a lot of alts. So what I've uh, pieced together here is creating a swap loadout. So you see here I have just kind of some basic garbage gear equipped. Um, I crafted a good bit of this, which you can find whatever gear you have lying around as long as it is legacy bound and doesn't have anything binding into it like color crystals, etc. Um, what I've done here is I have created a swap loadout. So what that enables me to do is I keep all of my gear in my bank, my legacy bank, so as soon as I've opened my legacy bank, on my second tab here, this top set is for my tanks, bottom set for my sages. Uh, I pull my character window open here and go to loadouts. I want to play telekinetics, click on telekinetics and activate. It will now swap out and put all of my PK sage gear on and put all of my swap gear into the legacy bank. Now, if I decide I want to switch and now play tank, I click on the tank loadout, activate it. And it's going to pull all the tank gear out of the bank and put my TK gear back into the bank. Whenever I'm finished playing on a character, I just click back on swap, activate, and all my swap gear is back and all of my main gear is back in my bank, so when I want to switch over to, say, an all, All that gear is back in the bank for me. Now, if I have this set up on all of my alts with just junk gear put into a swap loadout, I will then be able just to do the same thing and keep all of my gear in the legacy bank without having to resort and organize a billion times on what I want. So, just wanted to pop in and kind of give a quick little tutorial there on something I've been working on to try to make gear swapping between tunes a little easier. Um, one thing you never want to do with this is directly remove any of your gear from any of the existing loadouts that you're actively using. Um, now of course, upgrading um, items along the way will make it to where you got to go back in and rebind those specific pieces to all of your separate loadouts. I have not found a, a good little quote unquote life hack for uh, dealing with the upgrade progress. You still got to go through and uh, update all of your loadouts with any gear that you upgrade along the way. But uh, as you do start hitting the, the max 330 and upgrades are no longer as big of a concern, it becomes much easier for you. But you'll see here, I'm now on a, another tank tune and I can open up my legacy bank. And don't even have to navigate over to the tab or anything. Just open the legacy bank. Loadouts. See, I've got a swapping down here too. Kinetic combat. Activate. It's going to pull all that gear back out for me. Now, I don't have um, a, a swap set up on this tune like I do the other one yet. I'm working on crafting the gear necessary for this one. And you'll see sometimes it does get a little finicky with um, pulling the main hand and off hand out of the bank and moving things around too. You'll see it did it for the, uh, the Sage. But for some reason, I found that. Um, doesn't like to do it for the uh, saber staff and my shield. Um, sometimes I got to go in and manually put those in. But um, you see, without having gear equipped for the swap, what happens is instead of putting it back into the bank, it puts it into my inventory. And I've got to manually click it all back in there to get it uh, put back in the legacy bank for my other characters. So just simply equipping gear to a swap loadout puts it all back into the legacy bank for you. So you don't have to do the extra work. Anyway, I hope that's been helpful and uh, saved you some time. Happy gaming!